Hi there, lovely people. What's going on? It's almost midnight. I'm doing a couple of reviews for you. It's around, uh, you can say 11.45, approaching towards midnight. And I have uh, one fragrance I never reviewed before, brand new. Uh, one list, and this one is going to be a re-review or a final review of a fragrance, <clears throat> rather, from House of Cartier. And Cartier, I, I cannot pronounce it properly like French people do. Cartier. I have seen Mark trying it. I mean, Mark doing it because they are French spoken uh, people, French speaking people. But this is hands down of my favorite houses. And I have a special story to tell you in this re review. So, the fragrance that I have for you today, as you can see in front of a beautiful little bottle, and this is not a new fragrance. I got this fragrance back in 2018. And I had a small little bottle here. This was a sprayable version, uh, Lenvo EDP. Okay. I have been using this for many years. I used a lot but at the same time i saved some juice because i never had a full bottle of it so thankfully it was a spare version and i could spray i don't like dab uh, bottles so i've been carrying this since 2018 so 18 and almost five six years you know <coughs> give me a second yeah this weather really sucks <laughs> the weather and the health really is not my best friend right now but yeah finally uh, after waiting for five long years i have the full bottle of it full bottle presentation and this is a stunning little presentation. I have to be very careful handling it. I hope I don't break the bottle and I have a full bottle. And I cannot tell you how excited or how happy I am. And this is one criminally underrated fragrance, especially for people who love honey. Okay, the note of honey is in this fragrance huge. There's an EDT version as well, but I prefer the EDP. And I'll show you what I got from it, my final take, my final thoughts, who can wear it, longevity, and uh, who is it for, seasons and stuff like that. So I bought a tester version of it. It cost me about 70, $70, give or take, and it's not cheap. Okay, I got a good deal, but I'm pretty sure it's selling for more than 100 something dollars, at, at least $85 I've seen. So uh, big thanks to Fragrantica Bangladesh for bringing this in Bangladesh and uh, sending it my way. He bought only one, he brought only one bottle and I uh, got it lucky for me. They sell very, very fast on their page. So uh, let's see what you get. First of all, the House of Cartier, they make watches, jewelry, and they have a really good posh collection. I really feel Hermes, Cartier, they are sort of like a same level house, but that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. So Cartier also make fragrances. Some of my favorites are Declaration Don Soir, Road Star, this line. And I did try a few of the other lines. Uh, I think there's a line called, um, what is the line called? Um, man, I don't you know, remember this point, but there's a line like they had, uh, the twisty bottles you know they are also very very nice so gala i mean sorry cartier has quite audi cartier yeah that's the line so quite a few lines that i like they also have a pasha pasha de parfum so quite a few lines but pasha, cartier doesn't get that much talk like boucheron this is an underrated house so let me show the presentation the box i threw away it's a tester box so the most beautiful part of this presentation is this outer in here it's almost like a wine glass it's it's built of glass not plastic in here it and these are refillable bottles. I don't think it comes with a cap. They gave this stuff as a cap. It's not a cap. So you twist it. I think it goes up and then you twist it again. It comes down. So this is the spray atomizer. I'm not going to spray this because I already have that one. I'm going to use that when I finish. Then I will open this. Very beautiful application. And I thought Sebastian Zara showed how to take this off. I'm not going to dare try. So the name Lenwall would be here. Look at the juice color. Golden. Got the atomizer in there. It reminds me of diesel one fragrance you know diesel something uh, there's a capsule looking bottle red bottle i did a long time back but these are refillable bottles you can once this finish you can replace it and use it again so the outer part is that attractive part of the bottle but very risky while carrying it it may break so very uh, interesting presentation but very fragile as well so that's the presentation mind-blowing presentation this is top-notch presentation from any designer house I've ever seen even as a matter of fact niche house okay so uh, this is like as good as a niche house presentation go so that's the presentation part price part i told you i don't know how much is selling for your uh, in your side but it's expensive so is it worth the money just because of the presentation should you be looking at it no nope. this fragrance has something special i was talking about the note of honey this one has a plenty of it you know like let me put that back okay because it's part of the presentation okay so this one has plenty of it but this one has some other notes uh, let me read that from Fragrantica. Aldehydes, coriander, clary sage, artemisia, bergamot, patchouli, carnation, vetiver, cinnamon, geranium, jasmine, orris root, civet. Okay. And I think, uh, sorry, 
that's I'm reading a wrong one. <laughs> sorry, that's why. Yeah, I'm reading Kuros Notes Breakdown. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, this one Notes Breakdowns are I think I got the right one. Oh, so yes. Um, okay, top notes are lavender, Artemisia, sage. Middle notes are violet leaves, pepper, and honey, iris, gayakut, musk, patchouli, amber root, and cedar and vetiver at the base. Why I'm reading Kuros Notes Breakdown because that's also something I open. I'm gonna keep it here, right there. I'm gonna keep one more there. Right there, also golden color juice, Givenchy Gentleman, the old 1974 version, and 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit. So quiz time. Could you tell me, guys, <laughs> if I was live, I would ask you this, why I brought these other fragrances together. Apparently, <clears throat> all these fragrances share that common note of honey. Obviously, they are different in nature. This one is going to be much lighter than Kuros. Obviously, Kuros is a powerhouse. It has civet, <laughs> florals, uh, and then, the, you know, it has that, that poo poo note <laughs> that people really urinal joint or something like that people really are not very big fan of that so some people like it some people don't <clears throat> so uh, kuros has the note of honey that's a dis distinctive note Givenchy gentleman 74 version this one also got note of honey but it also has leather some animalic touch but 1821 sweet tobacco spirit this one has that red wine honey very sweet gooey honey and then booziness i think it's a boozy or tobacco fragrance rather okay <clears throat> so when you talk about red wine interesting one so compared to that this is lesser less sweet okay it's not as sweet as this this one but it's not as beastly or animalic as this other two so if you love note of honey this is a fragrance for you to check out very interesting perfume so as i told you the notes breakdown <clears throat> in this fragrance sebastian zara did mention huge uh, part is played by uh, that note of violets okay this one has that i have it on my skin so this fragrance doesn't go like very sweet it has this airy ozonic vibe of violets mixed with the honey so it's a weird combination it's not overly sweet but it's also not overly fresh so there's a fine balance between the two very interesting composition if you talk about uniqueness this is one of the most unique fragrance in designer game if not the whole fragrance game if you know h24 by hermes that one also has this uniqueness factor about it this one has it highly i do not think you get any fragrance that smells as unique as this so uniqueness 10 bottle presentation 10 uh longevity edp it's longer lasting than edt but the edt projects a little bit better this one uh doesn't really bounce off my skin so much i would say it would be a perfect fragrance when let's say you wear something like um springtime you know springtime uh fall uh this is a perfect fragrance to wear in those times like you know which fragrance comes to my mind um armani code profumo if you know those fragrances uh, Armani Code or something from that line or maybe Labo, it's like those okay so it has some freshness it has the honey it also has a little bit of that uh, herbal kick okay I think they uh, said sage and then lavender so it's a very interesting composition you don't smell like this at all in any other fragrance very classy very unisex style uh, occasion I would think of high class parties you know if the weather is not super humid or hot or sweaty you can wear this with a tux with a flower or a rose with your tux that good um i would compare this with the class of declaration d'un soir man this fragrance has something special about it why i decided to do this re-review because i want people to look at this fragrance and hmm, think about it like you are buying so many of this latest uh mindless sort of uh blankers one after another just sweet bubble gummy same old same old but uh, you don't have a great fragrance in your collection like this you know it's a shame if people do not have fragrances like this or they try it it's a shame for fragrance game i feel so why wouldn't you get it why wouldn't you get a presentation like it why wouldn't you get a fragrance just because it's cartier you don't understand or know the house i mean if you don't understand houses like boucheron cartier hermes or Guerlain, you're missing out on some great houses even Givenchy that uh, at, at, like you know in that regard so all in all i think it's a signature scent worthy very beautiful special occasion fragrance you can wear this for your wedding you can wear this to a suit tux office high class occasion parties uh, even trips longevity is very very good i would say seven to eight hours you're looking at but the projection is not super heavy it stays airy you know i i think it's that violet leaves it makes it airy and a little bit of iris play so think of prada in a certain way so it has those class a little bit soapiness with honey imagine honey based soap okay so that's what you're gonna get but uh fair warning you're not gonna get so much overbearing or sweet citrus or sweetness maybe you're thinking i'm gonna get 
very good honey like a gooey honey i would say go for this one fragrances like this 1821 it would be perfect fragrance if you love honey and sweetness even for that matter angel share okay but this is not it yeah sorry i keep uh, have to clear out my throat okay so as a conclusion this fragrance is beautiful it's a gem and hidden gem because not many people talk about it understand it or uh, have it so if you're looking for something unique in the market and you're tired of your same old same old uh, super expensive fragrance. this is not super expensive also under hundred dollars easily you can have it you should look at it okay at least get a sample or a small uh, size bottle like this it's not gonna cost you so much money you'll see what's special about this perfume it's a uh, mind-blowing fragrance okay even though it's not the beastly like kuros or something like this one i'll still rate it like nine out of ten okay so cartia lenvo edp that's my final review check it out it's a super sexy super unique creative fragrance very futuristic as well and the bottle is cherry on the uh i i see on the cake or cherry on the top of the cake have a nice day. thanks for watching uh time for second review bye bye